Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. Um, this will probably help a little bit. Maybe a, maybe a tiny bit. Um, we, uh, we just woke up. It's uh, almost 7 a.m. We're waiting for um, breakfast to begin so we can get in there and eat. Uh, we had to have our bags outside of the door at 7. We, then we'll eat and then we'll leave I think by 8 o'clock. And uh, I believe we're currently in this, uh, the city of uh, Chongqing, and it's big. And it's weird because, like, all of the stuff that you see behind me, my camera's fogging up again. It's so humid out here. Let me wipe this off. I'm just going to have to keep doing this. So all of the buildings and stuff you see behind me, those aren't the buildings from yesterday, because that was a completely different city. We sailed through the night. And I'm just, you know, continually baffled by how much, uh, you know, infrastructure is here. Like, it's just it's astounding. But it's also um, remarkably humid here. Or misty or something in the morning. So I think I need to uh, stop recording while outside. Also, look at those buildings. Jesus. This is this is crazy. There's there's giant giant cities everywhere now. Like I know we have bigger small cities like Austin or St. Louis or you know some of the capitals of our states, but they're not this big. No, no. The and it's I, I hope people can get a sense of scale from the video, but like these these cities are huge, and they're you keep coming across them just going down the river. Wild. I don't know, like, um, from a city standpoint, if uh, Chongqing is like big or average. But all I know is that when I look around, there's so many buildings. And over there, and over there, yeah, and it's, behind it's there. literally every like, it's literally every direction. The bridge is cool too. There's a bridge back that way too. All right. What? There's, there's a bridge here. To the. Oh yeah. Can you? I don't know if those will be able to see it through the fog. Here. Yeah, you can kind of make out the bridge. Anyway, <laughs> let's eat some breakfast, and then uh, we have a few, a few excursions today, a few little things. There's yeah. like a museum before we ultimately get on a flight to head to Xi'an. So after a, a bit of a walk and a, uh, a bus ride, uh, we're now like in the heart of uh, Chongqing. And this place is gigantic. Like as we were, I mean, we ported there. That's where we, we got off the boat and ended our cruise. But like, we didn't get an idea of the scope until we were on the bus ride, like going through and seeing everything. The city goes on forever. And our tour guide was explaining that uh, the reason it seems so big is because it is big. The population in, uh, in the city is uh, 30 million, which beats Shanghai by quite a bit. And as far as like land mass, as far as the actual size of the city, it's eight times the size of Shanghai. Now, I, I do need to point out something that I don't think I've mentioned yet, and it's the fact that uh, China has a different perspective on what counties and cities are. Like, it's flipped from the U.S. In the U.S., counties are bigger than cities. But here, counties are within the cities. So one of the reasons that Shanghai can be so big and uh, Chongqing can be so big is because it's, it's multiple counties in the city. But it really doesn't even matter because the, there's so many buildings. Like, I don't think you'd be able to tell. It just keeps going and going. So yeah, thir uh, 30 million people in the city. It has a bunch of nicknames, which uh, was pretty cool. Um, one of them is Hot Pot City uh, because apparently the origin of Hot Pot is here um, and there's also like in excess of 30,000 hot pot restaurants which is crazy it's also called the bridge city because there are and this is not this is not a mistake 13,000 bridges and we've seen a lot of like the bigger ones that connect the two land masses but there's 
even, I mean, it, it just keeps going. So there's bridges everywhere, but even smaller ones like within the city. So yeah, 13,000 bridges is incredible. So uh, now that we're down here, um, we just grabbed some lunch, uh, which was a bit of an adventure um, because they didn't have an English menu. And we, they had some pictures, so we just kind of pointed and, and ordered. And uh, Mark, Mark ordered a beer. And uh, the lady brought it and sat it with a bowl and gestured that you're supposed to pour into the, bowl. the beer into the bowl. Yeah. So that's how he drank it. And uh, I don't know like what the the actual custom is for that. And I was like, you know, it would be funny if that wasn't even a thing that people do and they, they make foreigners do that. But uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, so now we're kind of in the heart of... Uh, I think this is the Liberation Monument. Liberation Monument? Yeah, there's a big, uh, you can see behind me, there's a big monument up there. And uh, we, we've been given just a little bit of free time to explore. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk around, see the sights, and, uh, you know, take in uh, the shopping. There are so, so many stores here. This is such a big city. So after exploring the city center of Chongqing for just a little bit, uh, it was time to go to our next destination. That meant going to the airport, which I have, I can't remember the name. It was something like Jal Bay. Started with a J. I saw it as we were like driving by it. Um, then we got on the plane and took a 90 minute uh, plane ride to uh, Xi'an. Xi'an? Xi'an. 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 We have a new, we don't have a new tour guide. I don't know if we have properly explained this. We have one tour guide uh, who goes by the name Joe, just been great. Um, but in certain cities like in Shanghai and then now in Xi'an, we're getting additional tour guides. And even on the, um, the Yangtze River, when we had our excursions, every excursion was a different tour guide. So Joe was with us, but we have these additional tour guides who have expertise in these specific cities or areas. So now we have uh, Joe, and while we're in Xi'an, we will also have another tour guide so yeah anyway um got to Xi'an took a bus ride and uh now we're here and this is our our next stop we're only going to be here for two nights uh, and then we'll be on our way to Beijing but uh this hotel I was so pleased with the courtyard uh in Shanghai it was such a nice hotel and this one is even better I'm going to try and remember to get some shots of the lobby tomorrow because it's gorgeous <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful, but like this is, it's so big and un unnecessarily big and fancy. Like seriously, it's nice and spacious. It's wonderful. And it has the best sheets. Like they're per cal and like crispy. That's my favorite. Mel likes the sheets. Um, so uh, I just got the uh, Wi-Fi connected and tested it, and it looks like it's going to be fast enough to do breakfast stream again. So we'll be doing that in uh, just about 10 minutes. But I wanted to talk about something real quick, unrelated to China. Um, well, I guess kind of related to China, uh, that I started suffering today. And that is when we were on the boat, um, I get motion sickness. I've learned that from the boats I've been on. This time, Mal came prepared. And uh, there are these little patches. I can't remember if I've talked about this on the vlog before, but I don't think so. Um, so you got these little patches that you stick behind your ear, and it's supposed to help minimize or completely alleviate uh, motion sickness. So on the first day um, of the cruise, Mao and I put these on, and I got to tell you, they work. They actually work. Now there was, you know, some side effects that it said could happen, and one of them was dry mouth. And of course, the next morning when we woke up, both of our mouths were like uh -huh. yawning nonstop. No, it, we, we had such a, a dry mouth and it lasted all day. And it was, it was awful, but it wasn't as bad as being motion sick. So we said, okay. So um, today was the last day of the cruise. We got off the cruise today uh, when we landed in, in Chongqing. And when I woke up this morning, my vision was real blurry 
and I was like, maybe I just slept really hard. You know, that's strange because I had my glasses on and everything was still super blurry. But sometimes when you wake up in the morning, that just happens. So I put my contacts in and my vision was still blurry. And after about 20 or 30 minutes, what was happening is I had my far sight, like I could see far away, but I couldn't see in front of me. My vision was like completely blurry. Like I couldn't focus on anything that was closer than like nine or 10 inches. Um, so you, for example, using the phone, very difficult. Using the camera, actually very difficult because when I'm looking at the, you know, the LCD screen, especially if I'm holding it and looking out, it's too close. I can't focus on it. So that was a little concerning, but I figured it might have been a side effect of the motion sickness patch. So Mal looked it up, and it is. It affects a very, very small percentage of people. And a lot of times the symptoms of this don't start until several days later, which explains that even though I've been using the patch now for almost four days, I didn't get it until today. Anyway, the uh, it is a side effect. It's a little rare, um, but unfortunately it says it could potentially last for... Uh, several days up to several weeks and I'm like oh the motion sickness patch is no longer <laughs> worth it to me um, I think I would have rather have been a little sick and dizzy for a few days after than potentially not be able to see directly in front of me for maybe weeks um, and also one of the side effects I've been suffering is dizziness so it feels like vertigo so even though I tried to avoid motion sickness in some ways, I feel like I almost got it worse by, you know, by doing this. But um, I appreciate the help. I and mean, and you we were only trying know. to help. Yeah, and we didn't yeah. know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it sucks. I'm kind of hoping that I wake up tomorrow and I'll just suddenly be able to see in, directly in front of me again. But uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, tomorrow we've got a huge day planned in uh, Xi'an. Uh, breakfast real early at 6.30. We're out the door at 7.30, and we got all sorts of stuff that we're doing. So I'm excited. Um, we just have to make sure we get enough rest because we're going to be doing several miles of walking tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?